Hello YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to play You and Me by Lifehouse. My name is Jeremiah James. I'm a singer-songwriter, and you can support me by listening on Spotify, checking out my creative content on Instagram, and subscribing here on YouTube. So to play You and Me, we're going to have our guitar on standard tuning. We don't need a capo. The song is in the key of G, and we're going to start out on a G chord. Most of the chords that we play are going to have our pinky and our ring finger planted on these two strings here. So your pinky on the third fret of the high E, ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And then these two fingers shift around quite a bit and I'll tell you what those chords are as we continue. But first we're going to tackle that strumming pattern. And the strumming pattern is just down, down, up, down. strings muted just down down up down up so starting on that G chord we play that strum pattern once next we go to a C add 9 so we simply move our middle finger down one string same fret so third fret of the A and we move one finger down one string to the second fret of the E string Okay, so stringing those two things together, we have G, C add 9. Next, we're going to go to a D sus 4 with a root F sharp. And the way we get there is we put this index finger up to the second fret of the low E, and our middle finger drops down to the second fret of the G string there. Same strumming pattern. Okay, so connecting all three of those things, we have now we're going to go to a G chord, slightly different from our G chord here. We're just going to have our index finger on the second fret, and we're going to play five strings down instead of six strings down like we would with the normal G chord. So we're here our fourth chord. So, so far we have and now we're going to go to an E minor 7 chord. That happens by putting that index finger down to the second fret of the D string. Middle finger comes here to the second fret of the A string and we strum all six strings. So that's our fifth piece here. So it's so we've got G, C add 9, D sus 4, G, E minor 7, and now we're going to go back to a D sus 4, back to a C add 9. So that's the progression for the verse. Now we're going to keep the same strumming pattern, and now we're going to go into the chorus here, and the chorus sounds like this. So notice again that these two fingers stay planted here. Um, so you can leave those two fingers in the same position and let these fingers continue to do the work. So again, we're starting on a G chord. And I lied, you actually want to pick this pinky off for the next chord here because we're going to an A sus 4 chord. So your index is going to be on the 2nd fret of the G. Middle finger is going to be on the 2nd fret of the D string. And we can let that open E ring as well here. Okay, so for the chorus we have... C add 9, and hold there for two bars. Okay, so we have this so far, G, A sus 4, C add 9. We're going to go to an E minor, to a G, E minor, to a D sus 4, and then it loops back. So the 
full chorus is G, A sus4, C add 9 for 2 bars, E minor 7, G, E minor 7, D sus4, G, A sus4, C add 9, C add 9, E minor 7, chorus. Now there is the bridge portion which has a bar chord in it but it's a B minor and the strumming switches up a little bit. You can still keep the strumming so play it twice on the B minor. C. You can play a regular C chord. I'm just putting my ring finger on the third fret of the low E to make it a C root G chord. Then we're going to go to a G. Play that for one bar. D, play for one bar. E minor, play for one bar. E minor, play for two bars, sorry. Okay, so the bridge again, we have B minor, C, G, D, E minor. Next, we're going to go to an A minor, to a D chord, to a B minor chord, to a C minor chord. loops back into the chorus. Okay, so one more time, the full bridge, B minor, C, G, D, E minor, A minor, D, B minor, back into our chorus. And that's all there is to it. That's all you need to know to play You and Me by Lifehouse. I hope this helped you a ton. If it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Check out my stuff on Spotify. And follow me on Instagram to stay tuned for more creative content. Thank you for watching.